Welcome to the Nano Training on the Air Quality Index, AQI, designed specifically for child care providers and teachers. This training was developed by the Division of Environmental Health Epidemiology, Pennsylvania Department of Health, with resources from AirNow, a partner of the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA. Children's environments, such as where they live, learn, and play, may impact their health. Exposure to environmental hazards like mold, poor air quality, or contaminated drinking water can lead to negative health outcomes. Importantly, air quality may impact children's health because their lungs are still developing, posing a higher risk of developing respiratory illness like asthma. The objective of this training is to help you understand EPA's Air Quality Index, or AQI. Explain the AQI values and colors linked to air pollution levels and demonstrate how these values may correspond to children's level of outdoor activities, as well as ways to include the AQI in classroom activities. So what is the Air Quality Index? The AQI is EPA's tool for communicating daily local air quality and is used as the basis for making air quality forecasts. Color-coded categories provide information about air quality in an area, which groups of people may be affected by poor air quality, and steps people can take to reduce exposure to air pollution. The AQI is a scale that goes from 0 to 500. The higher the AQI value, the greater the level of air pollution and the greater the health risk. EPA establishes an AQI for five major air pollutants, including ground level ozone, particle pollution, also known as particulate matter, PM2.5 and PM10, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide, each of which is regulated by the Clean Air Act and has a national air quality standard set by EPA to protect public health. Notably, AirNow's AQI tool only provides readings for ozone and particulate matter. The AQI is divided into six categories. Each category has a specific color corresponding to an increasing level of health concern. The colors make it easy for people to quickly recognize when air quality is reaching unhealthy levels in their communities. The first level is green. Here, the AQI value ranges from 0 to 50, and air quality is good or satisfactory with little or no health risk from air pollution. Next is yellow, with AQI values ranging from 51 to 100. Air quality in the yellow level is acceptable with moderate health concern. However, there may be a health risk for some people, particularly those who are sensitive to air pollution, including children, older adults, people with lung disease or asthma, and those who are always active outdoors. Then orange. At this level, the AQI value ranges from 101 to 150, and there is moderately high concern that members of sensitive groups may experience health effects. Next, red. Here, the AQI value ranges from 151 to 200. The air quality is considered unhealthy. At this level, some members of the public may experience health effects. Members of sensitive groups, including children and those with asthma, may experience more serious health effects. For purple, the level of health risk is very high, and the air quality is considered very unhealthy. The AQI value ranges from 201 to 300 indicating that there is an increased risk of adverse health effects from air pollution for everyone. This would include all staff and children at your facility. Finally, we have maroon. Here, the air quality is hazardous, with an AQI value of 301 and higher. This level indicates an emergency health situation, where everyone is more likely to experience negative health effects because of higher levels of air pollution. You can monitor the AQI for daily air quality at airnow.gov. AirNow is a partnership between EPA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, the National Park Service, NASA, Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, and tribal, state, and local air quality agencies. Additionally, EPA's AirNow mobile app provides a simple way to quickly check current and forecast air quality information. This information is useful for planning daily activities and protecting the health of your staff and the children in your care. The app automatically displays the current AQI for your local area or any area you wish to check 
and allows you to store multiple areas for quick reference. The AQI can be used by schools and childcare facilities to modify outdoor physical activities. For instance, when the AQI is green, children can play outside without limitation, but when it is red or higher, outdoor activities should be limited. AirNow has a simple air quality and outdoor activity guidance for schools that can help you plan outdoor activities to protect the health of all the children you care for. Here, we provide some simple ways to include the AQI in your lesson plans and class activities. The AQI is simple enough for all children to understand. You can share the AQI with children during group times and let them make AQI color flags for display in the classroom. The different flag colors displayed daily would let everyone know how clean the outdoor air is. You can also read books about nature or climate. To help teach about air quality and specifically the AQI, EPA developed a children's book called Why is Cocoa Orange? The book is available free of charge, both in English and Spanish, at airnow.gov. There's also a narrated YouTube video of the book that students could listen to and follow along independently on a tablet or device, if available. Importantly, airnow.gov provides resources specifically for teachers, as well as resources for participating in the Air Quality Flag Program. Thank you for listening to this short training. Please do not hesitate to contact us at dehe at pa.gov or 717-787-3350 with any questions or ideas for learning more about air quality and the AQI. We acknowledge the US EPA and AirNow for their contributions to the content of this training.